predict the score right now, Jesse. Right now. Right now. Right now, right, right now. So here's my thought. The 49ers are a seven and a half point favorite. I believe at this moment, 67% of the people are betting on the 49ers to cover that. And they the over-under is 45 total points. I think the 49ers don't cover, and I think the under, or I'm going to take the under on 45. So I'm going to say it's 24-17 Niners. I know the score sounds closer than what I think the game actually is. I think maybe Detroit scores late to make it you know, a close-looking score, um, but the 49ers have the game in control for most of the second half. That's an interesting prediction. I think you're, you're probably right. I mean, to me, my instinct is the score should be something like 27 to 13 49ers that they're yeah. two touchdowns better than the lions but there's a lot of mitigating factors there's the fact that it's a 10 a.m game they're on the road it's week one it's a new coaching staff it's hard to know what to expect still i'm going 27 13 i think if the 49ers have the right game plan and they don't try to come out attacking detroit secondary and they uh really want to use the strength of their offense which is running the ball yeah. They should control the game. I, I don't see how this defense is going to give up more than 13 points unless unless there are some turnovers by the offense. So I hear you, and you're probably right. And I know 14 points is a big spread, but I'm saying 27-13. Okay. So if you're going with Grant, you're taking the 49ers to cover the spread. Here's what I will say. The game's going to be one of the trenches. The Lions have done everything they can in the offseason to not only beef up that defensive line, mm -hmm. but they've made the offensive line better. They've made the running game better by bringing in, you know, some good running backs. So I would say it's funny because I feel like they're a couple years away, but they're trying to mirror image their team after ours a little bit. And so I feel like I feel like they're not quite there. 49ers definitely should win. But again, cross country, early game, week one, whole new coaching staff. You don't really know what to expect. I think this game's going to be closer than what people think it's going to be. And they got Romeo Aquara, edge rusher, who had 10 sacks last year. They mm -hmm. signed Michael Brockers this year. Yep. They have Trey Flowers, who isn't a big pass rusher, but is a really good player. Yep. They have Jamie Collins. The good front seven. Their, sec their defense was awful last year, but they fired their defensive coordinator. And you know who hired him? Do you know? Do you know? Patriots. No, no, one more guess. Yeah, it was the Niners. He is now the Niners passing <laughs> yeah. game coordinator on specialist yeah. on defense. Yeah, it's weird. It's so that's a weird deal, right? Not passing judgment because that was probably a Matt <laughs> Patricia production over there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got. Yeah, absolutely. And and the other thing too, I'll say about the Lions is I really like the coaching staff they have over there. They've brought in a lot of ex players. They've got Brunel, um, Aaron mm. Glenn, mm. Uh, Deuce they got Staley. Brunel. Yeah, Brunel. Yeah, oh, he's, wow. he's one. Of, I think he's their quarterback coach. Nice. He's doing. He's doing what the they're doing. What the 49ers should do and actually bring yeah. in an ex quarterback to teach yeah. their quarterback how to play. Yeah, Brunel yeah. would have been a good quarterback coach, I think. But uh, yeah, I like what the Lions have going on over there. So don't be surprised if this game's a little closer than what what I think the pundits would say it is. And I'm the pundit because I think this is going to be 27-13. <laughs> but no, you made a really good uh, case. And I was talking to Jack Hammer the other day. He was sort of alluding to the same thing that you're saying. Mm -hmm. So you're probably right. Shivnor says, did Trey not secure the job or did Jimmy win it? Trey didn't secure it. Jimmy didn't win anything. He didn't have to win anything. That's yeah. Trey didn't secure it. I, I don't think he was put in a position to secure it. I think kind of Kyle had his mind made up. Yeah, basically, yeah. you know, and I said this a couple weeks ago, but it's like a championship fight, right? Jimmy was the champion. He was the incumbent. And in order to beat the champion, you have to beat the champion. It can't be a split decision. You're not going to get that edge. And really, this was a split decision fight, and they gave it to Jimmy. So, I think the veterans wanted Jimmy to win it, and I think Kyle uh, drafted Trey Lance with the understanding in the organization that he felt it was a long-term project. So uh, no pressure to push him early. If he ends up being ready, then great, but they didn't show that. He didn't show that. So, yeah. Now, Do you think he starts at any point this season? Let, let's say Jimmy's healthy. Do you think he starts at any point this season, Trey Lance? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. I think he played really well in training camp. Uh, the, f the fact that he didn't play super well in preseason, it was 40 throws. He yeah. was playing with the backup offensive line. When he He's going to get a lot of playing time in the, pre in the regular season with the starters, and he's going to look good. And yeah. Jimmy's going to do what Jimmy does. It's inevitable. It's not going to take long. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, listen, I, I hope that's right. I'm done with the predictions on when a quarterback's going to start. I went bold for week one, didn't plan out, and right now I don't have a gut feeling on it. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, Yeah, I guess I predicted. My my dad pinned me down, maybe bet that bottle of wine before <laughs> camp started. Yeah. I guess I was never really – I mean, I'm not trying to backtrack. I never got, like, strong indications that I was going to win that bet. I just yeah. felt I was right. That Not that yeah. he – that he will start he should start he freaking should start and not starting him is just a bad decision and i guess i thought of it that way but then what do i talk about on the show a lot bad decisions and stuff like that so what's sorry. crazy what's crazy to me though grant is of course you know one way or the other right it was a lot of people thought jimmy was going to start the whole time and so now that crowd's like see told you so yeah it was obvious the whole time and it's they like well, hold on weren't you the same crowd that was laughing at everybody that got fooled by Shanahan during the offseason for not taking Mac Jones. So now you're going to believe every word he said all the way through, and we're going all the way back now to the end of July saying, oh, the writing was on the wall. He said it back then, and he meant it. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Look, I'm willing to give my dad a really nice bottle of wine for Jimmy starting week one. I, I don't have to. I was wrong. For sure. Whatever. Oh, definitely I, was I was wrong. wrong. People get credit for being yep. right. I'm just saying, man, Trey's going to be in there fast. Yeah. <laughs> I could be wrong on that too, but I think yeah. it's, it's like, okay, all right. It wasn't quarter one, week one. It could be quarter three. I guess my thought is this is again, you know, I'll take the L. I was definitely wrong on it. I was very, very, uh, I pounded my chest on this one. Let me say that. Okay. So I was confident in what I was saying. I was wrong, but I still don't believe that if Trey plays lights out against the chargers, that he's not starting week one. I think that was the tipping point. Once he didn't play lights out there, that's when it was like, okay, we're for sure going with Jimmy. I think the plan was to go with Jimmy, but if Trey had forced their hand, they would have gone with him if he'd played really, really well in that game. And he just didn't do it. Not at the beginning anyways.